Oh, we're getting the chance to sit down with one of the, the new guys, one of the new DBs yes, on the sir. team. Virgil Lemons the third. Yes. Yeah. All right. Where are you from? Let everybody know where you're from and kind of how you got here at the University of West Florida. Well, I'm originally from Broward County, Florida, Jeffrey Beach, Florida. It's down south. And I got here through the transfer photo. Coach Ramsey hit me up when I got in the transfer photo. He showed me a good time and I ended up here. A little bit of an interesting connection with you. You were at UNC Pembroke. Yes. And that is where our former coach, Coach Pete Shinnick, started the program there. Yeah. And then he started the program here. So it, it's kind of weird how that all works, right? Yeah. I feel like God made me follow the path that they followed in. So we're here now. What did you think of your experience at Pembroke versus kind of what you've gotten into here at the University of West Florida? Uh, it's different cultures. So like being in Pembroke, it was more like country, but it was also fun. It may still make you feel loved. It was a lot of Native Americans. It would still like make you feel loved. Being here in Pensacola is much more city, much more chaos going on. But it's still like the coaches still make you feel a lot of love. Like you at home, we always feel like a home where we live. We like that. He called Pensacola a city. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, some people some people come here and say it's it's too small, but no. Compared to Pembroke. Yeah, but compared to I spent city. some time in North Carolina. I, I'm yeah. familiar with that. Uh, talk about, you know, working into this defense. Coach Cavell Connor and that defensive staff, Coach Mello, Coach Rimza. I mean, they've changed kind of the dynamic of this defense, uh, going from a three four to a four three. Yeah. Aggressive style, does that fit you? It. Yeah, it helps me with the D-line being so good to get so much pressure on the quarterback, the ball's coming out quicker. It's harder for the receivers to get in their routes, so it helps. that's helped us a lot. You had our, our first interception of the season in the, in the home open here against Kentucky Weston. Um, take, take the viewer and the listener through what that is like as a DB when you see that ball and you know you got an opportunity to break on it and make the play. It's crazy. It's one of the craziest things I ever did. So. In the game, I just seen the ball in the air, and then the D ball, the defense of the back room, he said, like, see ball, get ball. So I seen it, and I got it. I just jumped high as I can to get it. And it was, when I called it, I was like, I caught it. And I was so surprised. I tried to act so cool, but it was a good experience. You know, every time, it's a surprise yeah. when you get your hands on the football like that, whether it's a fumble or an interception. The defensive backs in that group, in that room that you just mentioned, man, there's some talent in that room exactly. and some size like we haven't seen here. You know, you got corners that are 6'4 and 6'1. Exactly. I mean, it's a different group, but very athletic. And you guys compete. Yes, sir. What's that like working in that group? Uh, it keeps you on your toes every day, knowing that you got somebody right behind you that's just as good as, or sometimes even better than you. You got to compete hard every day to keep your spot. So, like Eli Williams, is a six-four corner, he, he he's so good. I, like even in the field room, sometimes I don't even watch myself. I just watch him, knowing that he's so good. I can learn from him. We can all learn from each other because we got different techniques. That, that's a wonderful thing to have on the team. You guys have given up just a field goal in each of the first two games. Yes, sir. Is that a point of pride, or is it more like, nah, we, won't, we wish it was a zero up on that board? Uh, it's <laughs> more of an in-between, but we're going to take the three. We got three. A three over six or seven any day. This is a big game, going over to Florida a and and you know, for a lot of guys that maybe have come down from the D1 level to play at this level through the portal, or someone like yourself who's come you know, D2 to D2, yes, this sir. is a chance to show – to show off and show out a little bit, but it is just another game, as Coach would say. Exactly. You know, what, what's the momentum and the, the vibes, as they say, going into this week? Some some people are like, a lot of people say, since they're D1, they can be more athletic. I don't think that changes nothing between us D1 and D2. I think we're just going there, we focus on our stuff, and we keep playing how we keep playing, and no one, we'll be unstoppable. No one can stop us. I always like to ask the players, um, you know, when you're, when you're traveling, when you're getting ready for the game, uh, what's Virgil got you know, on the headphones? What's on the playlist to get you right? Uh, so this week I've been listening to a lot of band music. But my game day song probably be Father Scratch Your Hand by Kanye West or Sizzle by Snoo- Sizzle. Ah, Snooze by Sizzle. There you go. Get, getting it right. And then what do you what do you like to eat? If you get to choose the meal for the team mm-hmm. uh, for, for pregame leading into it or the night before, what, what's Virgil choosing? You can never go wrong with pasta, but chicken Alfredo, you can never go wrong with chicken Alfredo. No, it's good. Get the carbs in there. Get a little protein. Yes, sir. Uh, good luck to you this week. Yes, sir. We appreciate it. Go Argos. Go Argos.